The California Public Utilities Commission ended two years of contentious debate in December when they approved new net energy metering rules. Solar industry officials warned those new regulations would hurt their businesses, but the rule changes actually prompted people to put solar on roofs. The utility companies want to pay you less for what you produce. It totally goes against California's goals for more renewable energy. Now is the time to go solar and lock in your savings. That install now before the rules change pitch worked. The California Solar and Storage Association's Bernadette Del Chiaro says the pitch to get a system installed under the older, more economically generous rules boosted business by more than 40 percent. A lot of consumers that were previously on the fence um, about the, you know, going solar um, jumped off that fence. And there has been a significant increase in the number of people um, scrambling uh, to get in under the current existing program, uh, because quite frankly, you know, the savings are bigger. Del Chiara says the industry should stay busy through the summer, installing all the solar systems that had an agreement signed before the deadline. But once the backlog is cleared, she expects solar installations to slow significantly. California regulators decided against a draconian flat fee proposal for solar users, something opponents called a solar tax. But they approved cutting how much utilities credit customers for electricity generated on rooftops and sold back to the grid. They cut the value of the credit, the the value on your bill that you get for every electron you send back to the grid on a sunny day, they cut that by about 75%. Essentially, it means residents will have to wait longer to recover the upfront investment they made on a solar system. That can range from thousands to tens of thousands of dollars. The rule change caps a fight that generated unprecedented interest in proceedings at the California Public Utilities Commission. The Solar Rights Alliance's Dave Rosenfeld says hundreds of local governments and public officials spoke out against the rule changes, and he says there were more than 170,000 public comments. Overwhelmingly, like 90, 95 percent of the public comments that went in were saying, don't do it, and they did it anyway. The decision didn't sit well with the San Diego-based group, the Protect Our Communities Foundation. They worked with the Center for Biological Diversity and the Environmental Working Group to challenge the ruling. They argued in a legal petition that the CPUC did not follow state law. Attorney Aaron Stanton says petitioners have waited more than 60 days since filing their objection, and they could ask for a judicial review. Legal action, further legal action is an option, but again, we're still focused on just trying to get the commission to to change its mind. The petition points out that state law requires the CPUC to enact rules that encourage solar adoption, make rooftop solar accessible to low-income residents, and include all of solar's benefits in their calculations. The petition argues the commission failed on all three counts. The Protect Our Communities Foundation's Bill Powers says that's disappointing, but not unexpected. The political dynamics are quite meshed in in all of this. And so it's really about the, in my opinion, the the scales of regulation being uh, out of balance, meaning the utilities have gained almost total control of the process. Powers is not sold on the commission's management of the state solar rules, but he remains bullish on the technology's potential. He says solar can help California meet clean energy and climate goals aimed at decarbonizing the state's economy. It's remarkably uh, autonomous. It just does its thing. There are no moving parts and it contributes to climate action. It puts generation exactly where you need it to relieve congestion on the transmission and distribution system. Powers hopes the commission makes changes that comply with state law. Meanwhile, industry observers worry the new rules will slow California's nation-leading adoption rate for rooftop solar. They fear a bust after the current boom. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.